Ah, spring. The time of year for blooming flowers, chirping birds, and... <laughs> allergies. Alright, time to get ready for my date. This one or this one? Hmm. I think I'll go with the red. Red is a nice date color. Ooh, that is really red. Alright. Looks good. Just gotta perfect this. It has to look. Uh oh. Real sneeze. I can do it. I can finish. I couldn't finish it. Oh no. No. Maybe I can pull it off? No. No. There's no fixing this. I had a really good time. Me too. Thanks for walking me home. <laughs> You're welcome. I, I gotta go. Uh, uh, wait, my... wait! It's, it's just allergies! <sighs> Do you need a tissue? Yeah, thanks. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Fine. <laughs> Her eyes are really red. It's just allergies. That's what they all say. What? She's been crying. No. Oh, it's okay. It's just allergies. Guys. Uh. I heard your date didn't go well last night. Hello, and good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are. Today's video is all about allergies, because it's that time of year. If you've ever been in one of these situations that you just saw, then you know that allergies are terrible. And I've got seven ways to help you out this allergy season. Tip number one is to always have tissues. Tissues will be your best friend during allergy season because you will always have a runny nose or a stuffed nose or one of those. And you can get these little packs like this from the dollar store. They come in a pack of six or eight and they're a dollar and you can just throw them in your purse or in your backpack for school and then you got tissues. Also, if you have a sensitive nose, a good tip is to use the puffs with lotion if you can get those because my brother has allergies and he can use toilet paper on his nose and it doesn't bother him, but if I use toilet paper on my nose for more than a day, then my nose turns all red and it gets really sore and I have to like slather lotion all over it. So if you have a sensitive nose too, get the ones with lotion. Tip number two is to have allergy pills on hand because if you take allergy pills before allergy season starts, then you'll really lessen your chance of having to deal with allergies. And I believe they sell a bottle of them at Costco with a big bottle for like five bucks or something. That's what I heard at least. So you can always have allergy pills on hand. Tip number three is if it's too late and you can't take allergy pills anymore because your allergies are already here, Mucinex is great because it helps unclog your nose and like drain out your sinuses and if you have a sore throat it helps with that too and it's just Mucinex is the best. If, whether you're sick or you have allergies, Mucinex is the way to go if you need a fix for it. Tip number four is to have some VIX and VIX comes in I believe two forms. It might be more than that now but last time I checked it was two forms. There's one that looks like a little stick that you can put up your nose and like sniff it and it unclogs your nose. And the other is that cream version, which you can put under your nose if you want to be able to open up your sinuses again. Tip number five is to have some throat spray. I believe it's called chloroseptic and it tastes disgusting, but it works. It It's the worst taste in the world, but when you spray it and I believe you even have to spit it out after you're done with it, but it just numbs your throat. 
and if you want to eat something and your throat hurts, like one time I, w I had either a cold or allergies or something and I had to go to a Pizza Hut for dinner and I was like, oh, I'm not looking forward to eating because my throat hurts so much. So I sprayed the chloroseptic, I was better. I could eat the pizza. So if you enjoy food and you can't enjoy it because your throat hurts, that's what you need. Tip number six is to have a neti pot. And if you haven't seen a neti pot before, I'll try and put a picture of one right here. But it basically looks like a teapot and it comes with this powder that you put in there and you fill it up with warm water. And then this sounds really weird, but you put the spout in one of your nostrils and you pour it and it like goes through and comes out the other one. And it just rinses out all your sinuses and helps you feel like new again. <laughs> and I actually learned this because my sister, before her wedding, the day before her wedding, she had allergies. And of course you don't want to go into your wedding day with allergies. So she bought this neti pot and she used it that night. I slept over at her house. And then the next day, she was as good as new. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It still creeps me out a little bit, but if you're up for it, give it a shot and it will fix you like it did with her. Tip number seven is that there are some natural solutions out there. So most of the things that I talked about before this were like pills that you can take or medicine that you can take and I wanted to give some natural solutions too for people who don't really like to take medicine unless they have to. A tip for unclogging your nose in a natural way is to eat or smell something really spicy like the spiciest thing that you can find like whatever you can handle try and go a step above that and eat or smell that and most of the time it'll make your nose run and then you can just blow it and it's clean. If you have a sore throat, you can drink tea and put some honey in there and the honey helps to coat your throat so that you don't feel pain as much. Also, an extra tip about honey is that if you find a local like beekeeper or somebody who has local honey, get that. It's way much better than the stuff you get in the store. First of all, it tastes better. And second of all, I learned from an actual beekeeper that if you eat the honey from your area before allergy season starts then you'll be less likely to have allergies because the bees get the pollen from the flowers and because you're pretty much ingesting the pollen your body will become more immune to the pollen which is what causes your allergies so that's a fun fact for you then the last natural tip is if you get headaches during allergy season you can of course do the old tricks of putting like a warm or cold compress on your head but what I find works best for me is there are these videos from a YouTube channel called The Honest Guys and I'll link it down below for you guys but they have a video for headaches and basically what you do is you just put your headphones on lay down and relax for like 10 minutes while you listen to this and when it's over your headache feels so much better I do it all the time when I get headaches just from being stressed out or like when you're in school and you've got big stuff coming up or just everyday stresses, you know, you get headaches. So I listen to these videos and it helps so much. So that is it for the surviving allergy season video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to click subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this because I am thinking of doing more and leave a comment of what I should do next. Surviving what? And I will see you guys next time. Bye.